From 1967 through 1977, Nick's great Walt Frazier was the toast of New York City thanks to his Rolls Royce, knee length fur coats, and chic fedora hats. On the field, Frazier was a total gentleman. He acquired the moniker, Clyde, due to his fast hands on defense and cool, collected manner. Frazier guided Southern Illinois to the Division II Finals in 1965 while a student there. In addition to winning Most Valuable Player, Frazier led the Sioux Seleucus to the NIT Championship. The New York Knicks selected Frazier with the fifth overall pick. He went on to average 9.0 points per game and earn a spot on the NBA All-Rookie Team in the 1967-68 season. Because he wore a fedora like Warren Beatty's character Clyde Barrow in the 1967 movie Bonnie and Clyde, who played Clyde Barrow, he earned the moniker, Clyde, during his first season with the Knicks. With an average of 17.5 points, 7.9 assists, and 6.2 rebounds per game as a sophomore, Frazier was among the league's most improved players. Lucius Allen protecting Frazier while holding the ball in 1969 on October 30, 1969. Frazier outscored the Houston Rockets 123 to 110 while adding 9 rebounds, 5 assists, and 43 points. The first of Frazier's 7 NBA All-Star selections during his 10 years with the Knicks came in the 1969-70 season. Thanks to the outstanding play of star teammate Willis Reed and Frazier, the Knicks reached the 1970 NBA Finals. But Reed sustained a nasty leg injury in Game 5. The Knicks' chances of winning the championship were bleak without Reed. Reed, though, made a comeback in the series. Reed played the first two minutes of Game 7 and scored its first two points before limping off. With Reed out, Frazier went on to put forth one of the best playoff performances in NBA history guiding New York to victory in what ESPN calls one of the best Game 7s ever played with 36 points, 7 rebounds, 19 assists, and 6 steals. Even though Frazier averaged 20.4 points per game during the second series, the Knicks were unable to repeat as champions in 1971, losing to the Baltimore Bullets and their outstanding shooting guard Earl Monroe in the second round of the playoffs. In a preseason exhibition game between the NBA and ABBA All-Stars that took place in Houston's Astrodome in May 1971, Frazier led all scorers with 26 points and won MVP honors. After the 1970-71 campaign, the Knicks acquired Monroe, who Frazier always found challenging to guard. Few believed the two players' playing styles would complement one another, but Monroe and Frazier quickly rose to the top of the league earning the moniker the Rolls-Royce backcourt. In 1972, the Knicks made it back to the NBA Finals but lost to the Los Angeles Lakers, who finished a record-setting season with the title. In 1973, Frazier guided the Knicks to their second NBA title by defeating the Lakers in a five-game series. His defense of Jerry West was crucial in the team's victory against the star-studded opposition. Frazier was chosen for his seventh and last NBA All-Star game in 1976. Frazier held the franchise marks for the Knicks in terms of the most games, 759, minutes played, 28,995, field goals attempted, 11,669, field goals made, 5,736, free throws tried, 4,017, free throws made, 3,145, assists, 4,791, and points, points, 14,617. Most of the records were ultimately broken by Patrick Ewing, but Frazier's record for assists still stands.